Take it from me, it's very easy to get a stellar GPA in college. But you might ask, why does it matter? Well, for getting jobs and earning money, obviously. And I'll go into this in detail. I'm a been there, done that person. I've got 9.744 GPA in my college and I know exactly what you need. As I care for your time, I will go into the steps one by one later, but now I'll list all the steps here up front. Here's the list. Hello everyone, I'm Srimanti and I'm currently working as an ML engineer. I recently graduated from IIT Delhi with a BTEC in Computer Science with a GPA of 9.744. I can hear what you're thinking, but Srimanti, um, why do we need such a high GPA? Uh, most jobs require just greater than or equal to 8 GPA, right? So that, that should be enough. Uh -huh, that's where you're wrong. GPA plays an extremely important role in shortlisting of your resume. Many seniors might tell you that GPA is not important, but they are wrong. I can guarantee that. And GPA plays an extremely important role in securing the job that you're going to get. The skills definitely matter. But GPA is the first thing that interviewers see when they are looking at your resume. I know many people say, college life ek bari aati hai, enjoy kar lo. Um, translated as, you get to enjoy college life only once. But that is wrong. That is so wrong. You can do both. You can enjoy college life and have a stellar GPA at the same time as well as developing your skills. You just need to do great time management. And it's not that difficult. You need to have discipline. You need to follow the steps that I'll be telling soon. And you need to be passionate about the thing that you are doing. And I cannot stress it enough. Being from a tier two or tier three college, this GPA matters even more because your college might not seem very impressive to the interviewer, but the GPA will set you aside from the crowd and make the interviewer take great notice in you and help you in shortlisting the resume. It's very important, trust me. Okay, so let's go through the steps one by one. First step is attend classes. I cannot stress it enough, you have to attend classes to get an understanding of what is going on and the material that they are teaching. This is not only important for the college exams, but also for gate exams, for interviews and everything. The material is very, very important. But I know, I know, fate. Yeah, there's a caveat here. The prof might not be that good. If you feel that you are not learning enough, then do not attend classes anymore. I've heard from many of my friends who are in tier two and tier three colleges that the profs are not good. In simple language, they don't know what they are doing and what they are teaching. Obviously, some profs are amazing. There will always be some profs who are great. You need to attend their classes. But if you feel that it's not good, then you can stop immediately. Now, what would you do to learn the material and to pass the exams with flying colors? Now comes the point two. Subscribe to your favorite YouTube channel that teaches the content and learn from there. Keep up with the content creator regularly. Post your doubts in the comments and Form a study group where you can discuss these things. Even if you're not comfortable with study groups, there are people who are not comfortable with study groups. Um, then what you need to do is you need to find an online group, an online Discord communities, online Telegram communities. There are many. You just need to search online. You can keep up with the content creator and ask them if there's any such community as well on the YouTube channel. And there are many content creators who are very, very helpful. I can tell you that I'm a content creator myself and I also try to answer all the questions that come in the comments. I keep up with the comments regularly and I try to answer all doubts. Okay, so basically there are many YouTube channels that are teaching awesome content for free. Really, I mean, I would have said that you would not even need a degree if you follow YouTube, but I would not say that obviously because the interviewers definitely check the degree on your resume. Um, that is why it's very important. But to learn the material, to develop skills, you can follow these. This is a list of YouTube channels that I found very useful when I was studying. For coding, this is the one. For visualizations, three blue, one brown is extremely good. And for ML, um, I, I teach ML content. I go into depth 
on derivations, maths, everything of the different standard ML algorithms. And I also show the hands-on implementation of each of them. So you can keep up with me. Um, I also try to answer all questions. You can drop your doubts in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you like the video so far, please drop a like. And if you don't, then fret not because it only gets better. Also subscribe for more such content. Now coming to our third point, make notes. This is so important and I've seen so many of my friends who just feel that notes aren't that important. They tell me that you're grown up now, you can keep things in your head, you can just understand it, discuss it and you're done. Well, that is not true. I can tell you that I always used to make handwritten notes in my college. If you prefer typing, you can type as well. It's up to you. But do use notes. Do use um, pen and paper or any kind of computer to take notes and go through the notes regularly. Try to revise them whenever you have some free time. This will actually get the material on your fingertips and you'll be able to answer any question literally in seconds. Because if you understand the material, then it's just a piece of cake for you. Well, there will be many people who are against notes. So I would say, if you're taking notes, just ignore them. When you are getting that A and A plus grade and you are getting a stellar GPA and landing that perfect job, high paying job, then they will be the ones who will be feeling sorry. Great. Now that we are done with this, now the fourth point is very important and it's basically cementing your way to success. Solve previous year questions. I cannot stress it enough. Solving the previous year question will actually give you a flavor of what you are expecting in the papers in your exam, college exams. Obviously, you know this is true for JE um, and GATE exams, but for college exams also, this is very important. Uh, approach your seniors or tune into the website and just see if you can get at least one or two previous year question papers and try to solve them, just do this on the night before the exam and you know that you are all set. You will be able to get that perfect grade in your college and you will be able to land that high paying job when the next company comes to your college or when you're applying off campus. Great. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. And in the meantime, have a great day.